Hey everyone, I'm Vanessa Keir. This is just a short video to show you how to set up your NaNoWriMo daily writing targets in Scrivener. So the most obvious target you can set up in Scrivener is your entire project target. So I have added to my toolbar here, you can see I'm circling the bullseye, which is the targets icon that I've added to my toolbar. But you can also go up to project, show project targets, and you have two targets here. You have your manuscript target. So for NaNoWriMo, this is where you would want to put your 50,000 words. And then for your session target, there's two ways to do this since this is the Mac version. You could down here type in the daily amount, which is the 1,667, or you can let Scrivener calculate it for you. So what that does is it allows you to set a deadline. So you would set it at November 30th, 2017. You can tell Scrivener when to reset um, what you've done to zero. So it's not, you know, so it's starting your count of new words um, fresh. So that really depends on whether you're a night owl, whether you want it to reset at midnight, when you want it to reset on project close. So if you're somebody who might open it at 10 p.m. on Monday and then close it at 3 a.m. on Tuesday, you'd probably want to do project close. You could reset it count on the next day opened. So if you close it on Tuesday and you open it on Tuesday, it wouldn't count um, from zero. You would still be adding on to what you did that morning, but if you then open it on Wednesday after closing it on Tuesday, it would reset. Or you could never automatically. If you're going to try and calculate your daily to match what the nano amount is, you probably want to reset it somehow. You can count text written anywhere in the project, but for nano, you don't want to do this because you don't want anything you've typed in your research folder to count against your word count. I like to allow negatives. That means that if I delete words, it's deleting those from my word count. And this is what the Mac version can do, but the Windows version can't, is you can automatically calculate. So, Let's say that we do want to um, do every single day of the week. We don't have to click anything here, but we can click allow writing on the day of the deadline since you are allowed to submit your final word count on the 30th itself. And then you can show target notifications if you want. That will notify you if you have met your word count for the day. The way I have my OS set up, however, I don't like to have notifications, so I leave that off. And then you can hit OK. And then you'll notice here that it's not coming up as the um, same number that you would normally see. That's because today is the 31st of October, and I've already written as a demonstration for another video six words in this project up here. So tomorrow it would recalculate this based on the 30 days um, of November. So that is how you would set your targets. And as you progress through it, it would show a progress bar that starts at red and it will eventually end up at green when you've met your target. And what it will do is as you um, exceed or um, fail to meet your daily targets, it will recalculate how many words you have to do per day. Now, the one thing that Scrivener doesn't do is um, give you a chart that shows what your daily word count was. It will show you your cumulative word count. So if tomorrow I write 2,000 words, this will show 2,006 words of 50,000 words, but it won't let me go back and see how many words I did on the first day. 
So if you'd like to track that, there are external Excel spreadsheets that you can download from the internet that have automatic calculations factored into them, and I will put a link to one of those below this video. However, if you would like to track your word count in a simple table that does not do automatic calculations, I can show you how to do that in Scrivener. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new document in my binder that's outside of my manuscript so the word count isn't going to um, add on to my um, actual manuscript word count. I'll just go ahead and poke this into research and create a new document and I'll call it my nano word count. Now I'm going to just click on the inside of the document and then I'm going to go up to format table table and it automatically puts in a three column and two row table. So what you might want to do is think about what columns you want to have. So maybe you want to have the date and then maybe you want to have your daily word count and then maybe you want to have so now you've got two rows you're actually going to want 31 rows and there you go to get all the cells with that nice black border just go down to the last cell and do a shift click so those are all highlighted make sure you've got a nice cell border there make sure it's all black and there you go and again this is not excel so you have to manually put in your dates you have to manually put in your daily word count and then your total word count you could get again from your targets here on the left of this manuscript target so you would use your session target at the end of your writing session for your daily word count and then your manuscript target here would be your total word count so you can just see as you're progressing so again that's a basic table a way you can track your word count in Scrivener it's not going to auto calculate so anyway I hope that helps you get your word count target set up in Scrivener and good luck in November and hopefully we will all emerge winners on November 30th Happy writing. Bye.